Good morning and welcome back everyone. I'm out here at COSI, I'm joined with Joe, and it looks like we already have a little experiment in progress. So what's going on? Yes, we're doing the, the classic TV cooking show. Uh, I, I put this <laughs> turkey in the oven before we started filming. Excellent. <laughs> I've got two normal soda cans uh, or pop because we're in Ohio and they have just a little bit of water in them. And I, as you can see, I have them on a hot plate. We're boiling the water inside the cans. Ooh, okay. Why would we be doing that? Um, well, I'm just going to show you what happens and then we can talk about why it happens. How about that? Oh, I already like this. So I'm going to put on my gloves um, just in case I accidentally touch the hot plate or something like that and I have safety glasses. But what I'm going to do, oh wait, are you, a, are you a regular soda fan or a diet soda fan? Uh, you know, I grew up in a house that was <laughs> always drinking diet, so okay. that tends to be what I'll I lean towards. I'll save that one for you, so we'll, we'll take the regular soda. Excellent. All I'm going to do is take this and I'm going to put this can into this bowl of cold water. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, wow. The can was crushed with only, and you see that now there are a lot of water in it. The can was crushed with the power of air pressure. So as we're heating up the can, steam is rising, pushing air out of the can. It's also warmer than the surrounding air. When I put it in the cold water, the temperature rapidly decreases. Now the pressure inside the can is less than the atmospheric pressure outside and it crushes the can. Oh, I love that. Now, as you know, Liz, that is how we get weather. When you combine temperature and pressure and moisture, that creates all the weather phenomenon that we see. I'll hand these to you oh, so that you can you. get ready to do your version of it with your diet soda. I'm excited for this. Yeah. I like that there's the weather tie-in, too, about how important pressure is for all of that. Well, you know, while you're here, we're gonna, of course, we're going to talk about weather. Um, and we like to talk about weather with our, um, like our liquid nitrogen demonstrations, another great way to show off temperature and pressure. You can go ahead and pick that up. Excellent. And then just flip it over real quick and flip put it, it inside. Oh, <laughs> you could hear the pop. Yep. So this would be a, just the same thing as if you took that can and you sunk it down to, you know, very deep in the ocean. Of course, the pressure oh. inside would be greater than, or outside would be greater than inside, and it would be crushed. So, yeah, we don't normally think about the air pressure that's pushing on our bodies because, of course, the pressure inside our bodies is equal, so it's, we're not getting crushed. <laughs> but when we mess with the air and uh, temperature, then we can get some cool stuff. Oh, I love that. I like that this is kind of a fun experiment where even if you don't go as extreme with the hot plate, you can even kind of do this at home. Yeah, you can, uh, yeah, uh, anytime we're using something like hot plate, obviously we want to be careful, but um, with safety glasses and things like that. But you can see all kinds of uh, things with air and pressure um, just by, like we said, observing the weather mm -hmm. um, and things like that. Or even things like taking, you know, a can and with uh, no water in it and submerging it down in water, you can see that the... Uh, bubbles are released once you equalize the pressure. Just kind of playing around with stuff like that. That's so cool. And what else do you guys have going on in COSA? I know we're getting ready to flip over the calendar to March and March seems yes. like a really big transition month for you. Yeah, so we talk about weather because, you know, hopefully the weather is changing and getting better right now. Mm -hmm. um, but also things are changing at COSA. This is your last week to see our exhibition, Pterosaurus Flight in the Age of Dinosaurs. So if you're interested in that, definitely come and check it out in the next week. And we are gearing up for Tutankhamun, Common, His Tomb and His Treasures, our amazing exhibition that's coming on March 18th. So go on to our website and get your tickets now. And I know the difference with some of those is some are included with your general COSI admission, but that new King Tut one, that's not, right? Yes, that will be an additional charge, and that's also a timed ticket because it, it's going to be really popular. This is the only U.S. date for that exhibition, so you definitely want to get your tickets before you come. I like that, and definitely something to plan in advance for. Yeah, for sure. Uh, let me see. Well, Joe, thank you so much for showing us this really cool experiment, talking about some of the big transitions getting ready to happen over at COSI. And remember, if you want to check on those dates, see what exhibits are coming and going, you can log on to COSI.org or to look at this fun experiment and even hear Joe explaining in how it ties into weather that we see every day here in Ohio. You can log on to our website, NBC4I.com. So thanks, Joe. Thanks for having me.